Day 18. Value number six. Peace. There is a verse in the Bible that says, In me you will have peace. In the world you will have trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. John chapter 16, verse 33. Get that. Understand it. It will change your life. In God there is peace. If you are in God, you are at peace. If you are not in God, you are going to be thrashed by every storm that comes your direction. The storms are not directed at you because you are unlucky or even as tests to see if you pass or fail in God's kingdom. The storms are the storms, and life is full of them. Everyone has them. People in the world have storms. Lots of them. Just ask them, they will tell you. Their marriage is on the rocks. Their kids hate them. Their job is at risk or gone. They don't believe in God because he hasn't fixed anything. Oh yes, they have storms. But make no mistake, so do those who walk with God. Our marriage is not roses and wine all the time. Our kids fight with each other and with us. Our boss demands more and more for less and less. We believe in God, but there are a lot of things he just hasn't fixed yet. Trust me, we do have storms. Being a believer doesn't mean there are no storms going on around you. When Peter got out of the boat, the storm did not stop. In fact, it intensified. Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. Walking with God doesn't ensure a smooth ride with no bumps and no all-out crashes. In this life, in this fallen world, those things are going to happen. What walking with God does ensure is that no matter what happens, you have a place to go. In Him. In Him, there is peace. I often say to friends, go to God. When the going gets rough, go to God. When things are great, go to God. Whatever's happening, go to God. The more you do this, the more you go to God, the more peace you will have, because God is not a God of chaos and catastrophe. God is a God of peace and love and joy and comfort and hope. When you get that, And really believe it down to the core of your soul. Being at peace, no matter what the storm does, is always an option. Our prayer for the day. Dear Lord, I have struggled to find peace on my own terms, and it hasn't worked. Please show me how to slow down, how to make the right things important again, so that I am not rushing after everything and coming up empty. Help me to find peace. Amen. And now you may record your thoughts in your journal. Like and subscribe to the Stacy Stallings YouTube channel so you never miss a second of the story. This has been the 912 Project, written by Stacy Stallings, narrated by Stacy Stallings. Copyright 2009. Audio produced by Stacy Stallings. Production copyright 2023.